Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today I'm playing Blue White Familiars. That's Sunscape Familiar, making green and blue spells cast cost one less to cast. So these cards are awesome. Familiar makes everything cheap, and I have a bunch of cheap spells. And I'm going to be playing my Murmuring Mystic style build. So if you watched my video on Friday, which I will link in the cards, the deck was playing seven cantrips and meeting of minds with three copies of meeting of minds. So I'm going to cut those, put two copies of deep analysis and one copy of brainstorm. So the idea here is that deep analysis as a two of draws eight cards, meeting of minds as a three of cause only draws six. And then brainstorm actually is useful as a way to fix my hand in the late game. So this is an effect that I'm going to want later as opposed to really early. So I'm playing all these cantrips as four ways to find the cards that I need to do need in order to play the game as fast as possible. So for example, versus red, we're going to be cantripping, looking for hydroblast faithfuls versus terror. We're going to be looking for our circle of protection in the sideboard. You're basically making it a lot easier to find your sideboard cards and enact your game plan. So I really, really like playing these alongside of Murmuring Mystic. And I find that this just is a really fun way to play the game. And I've had pretty good success. I happen to be around and available for the challenge, so I'm going to make it happen. My sideboard here, I have got the two dust to dust, one last breath, one circle of protection. These are just one ofs because I think I can find them with my cantrips. And then I'm playing a weird counterspell suite. So one counterspell, one prohibit, one negate, one essence scatter. So prohibit, very, very good against fairies. Um, and a lot of the ground decks. I usually am only bringing one in versus red decks, and I might not even bring it in. Negate's quite good for lead the stampede, bogles, stuff like that. Counterspell is in catch all, obviously, but it also hits the initiative decks with the emblems. And then essence scatter hits the emblem cards as well. Now you'll notice that I have three anti emblems in the main deck, two in the sideboard. That's because I want five post board versus the emblem decks. And I decided to go up more on anti-red than anti-glitters because I feel like glitters is a little bit easier to manage than it is to manage red. And on versus red, you really need to have that turn one interaction. Whereas versus glitters, I think I can afford to wait a little bit. And then hopefully all of my counterspell suite with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven post board will be good against blue control. And then obviously I have the Hydro Blast to bring in versus other blue control where they're also playing red. So that's the deck. Um, make sure to check out the Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Calikais. I have lots of information about playing Familiars, playing Ultratron, even playing my fun Poison Storm deck, my Mono Red, Sticker Burn Storm deck. Lots of fun there. Eggs. It's really cool, and I uh, would really appreciate it if you want to hop on that, because there's also a Discord channel where you can get in touch with me basically whenever for questions and support. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment because that supports me even free and I really appreciate it. And then don't forget to check out Pondering Popper. I'm working on new episodes weekly and hopefully I'll see you there. If not, we'll see you in the matches. All right, we're here in round one on the draw. We have a ponder to find our stuff, but the rest of the hand is really lacking. Our opponent keeps seven. I'm gonna keep it. Their last result was Jeskai Affinity. There's a Silver Bluff Bridge. Let's ponder. Okay, I think I like these. I'm putting the um, dual land underneath on the bottom so that I can shuffle it. If they are not on a deck where I want snap, I don't have to shuffle. Ginger Brute, okay. Gets in for one. No second land. Uh, definitely need to shuffle here. But I don't think. Well, I'll just play the land, put my faithful into play, and that stops them from getting any damage in. No chip damage whatsoever. They had made their second land drop. So kind of kind of hosing them for a little bit here. They're going to attack, I'll block. And that's easy. Plays a vault scourge. I'm gonna cycle. So cycling for an island, play the chancery, and then I'm gonna pick up the planes. Press F6 and uh, let it be their turn. Next turn, I can snap and then play Moldrifter. I'll probably snap the Vault Scourge, play Moldrifter. Let's see. Do they have a ninja? They do. 
Interesting. So just guy affinity with ninjas. Maybe that's weird. Maybe it's just blue white, splashing red. So we have counter spell now. Let's just snap the ginger brute. We're pretty far ahead, and I could be okay if they land the uh, glitters. I could probably find another snap. Draw some cards. Another faithful. So now I can faithful and then hold up counter spell. Just have to kind of fade the glitters this turn. Kills the faithful. All right, easy trade. That's fine. I'm gonna replay the vault scourge, but I don't really want them looting. Um, I don't want them to be having any better way to get their glitters. Especially keeping their creatures off the table is better for me. If they're on Jeskai plus Galblast, but with Moon Circuit Hacker, that kind of makes me think that they have. Well, okay, so I can hold up Counterspell or I can go Faithful Drifter Ephemerate. I think I probably just need to keep moving, play Faithful, draw four cards. Don't play Scared, play Aggro. <laughs> Drifter. So this is going to draw us four cards. They might not have a second Galvanic Blast. Yield to that. Ephemerate. There's the, the floodplain again. We find a familiar and a preordain. I'm going to discard the flood floodplain. It's a little bit too slow right now. All right, what are you going to do? Vault Scourge is kind of funky. We're still at 20 life. They're tapping a red mana. So they're, okay, they play a mirror enforcer for two mana. Pretty strong. Decides not to get in. We have the counter spell. So if they're planning on Metallic Rebuking me, I can just respond. We're going to draw two cards, draw for turn. Okay. Play a Familiar. Play Murmuring Mystic. I don't even have to do anything. Um, if they play Metallic Rebuke here, I can snap the Enforcer and then counter. I can even go Snap Enforcer. No, I can't. I need three mana. I was going to... thought I could Snap Enforcer, Flicker, the Mold Drifter. So they do have Metallic Rebuke. Okay, let's just snap the Enforcer. Tap, get the mana. Okay, tempo-wise, we're very ahead. They have two, three mana worth of creatures on the table, and I've got uh, a lot, nine, 10, 11, 12. Missing their first land drop, or second land drop was huge for me, for sure. We can play Enforcer for zero. Murmuring Mystic can block it, so that's fine. All the glitters, that's eight damage. Four, five, six. Oh, Marine Reinforcer costs one right now. Right now it looks like they're planning on holding a rebuke though. It doesn't really make any sense. Or they can use the bridge to make it unblockable. That makes more sense, of course. I probably wouldn't block anyway. And they recognize that I'm not going to block and get in for eight. Now they can play their Enforcer for one mana. Neat. Okay. We're going to... Preordain, looking for a snap. We already used two snaps. Snap or a uh, Mancer would be fine. That's 10 damage on the table from them. And it answer in a Drifter. Let's bottom the Chancery, top the Drifter. So we can flicker and uh, make it draw a ton of cards. So we're evoking the Drifter, draw two. I find a Dawnringer Cleric. So I can flicker the two Drifters. Play land, play the Dominator Cleric, or I can, it's probably just better to look at the two Drifters. I might draw a snap. I don't need this planes. Draw four. No snap. Okay. <coughs> land, go ahead and blow up the, all the glitters. I'll pass. I mean, I could have attacked with the Mold Drifter first and uh, gotten in for two damage, so that was definitely loss of value i think i'm gonna get rid of one of these cards i have two cards to get rid of definitely the planes these are both kind of expensive and i'm already pretty ahead on card draw i don't just want to use the ponder so i like these four cards this card i think want this one i'll get rid of planes and lorian revealed i'll hold on to this loose focus for a little while Got a lot of card draw in hand though, so it's not worrisome. 
They draw two with the thought cast, plays a land. Can't 17 me right now as far as I know. Maybe with double glitters they could, but then I have a block. Next turn I can hold Ephemerate on the Cleric, so then they can't glitter. I probably don't want to Ephemerate the Moldrifter. I can just ponder and make a Chumper. So the Mirrored Forces are handled with the birds right now. Looks like they have something. They glitter the Gingerbread again. Okay, I'll take 11. Podcast. Do you have any zeros? I only have one mana available. They could maybe like Galvanic the Dominator Cleric, but it looks like they're going to Gingerbrute in for 11, putting me to 6. That's fine. No problem. I, thought, I love that. Um, let's go ahead and attack you. Okay, getting in. Lead on Ponder. Make a bird. What do we see? Arcane Mancer, Snap. All right, so let's the Arcane Mancer on top and the Snap. No shuffle. Snap this one. So we'll untap. And then I can go Ephemerate on the Moldrifter. Make a bird. Draw some cards. Play Arcane Mancer. Get back the Ephemerate. I can ephemerate for Ghosty Flicker and uh, just kind of chill and win the game. You are not going to win. And we have all of our counters, all of our card draw. Good luck. We're at nine life, I guess. We can still peck in with the Ginger Brute. We've handled two all the glitters so far, single handedly. I really like all of the cantrips, it makes me be able to draw stuff. All the glitters again, sure. Counterspell. We'll counterspell that. We've drawn three glitters. They're still losing. We make some more birds. They're gonna Metallic Rebuke. I will lose focus your Metallic Rebuke. I feel that they kind of slowed down their deck by adding all this interaction and making it a little bit worse. They can't pay for the lose focus. Counterspell through all the glitters. We have a lot of birds. Plays a thought cast. I'm gonna counter that. Just to make more birds so that I can get in. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have enough damage to kill them this turn. So I just want to finish it up. Okay, we win. Nice. I want all of the interaction. I don't want the counter spell or the loose focuses. I don't think I want the ephemerate or. And then I'm thinking I want one prohibit. I really like the Murmuring Mystic as a blocker, so I'm just going to trim an Arcanum Answer. So my my way of dealing with them is a lot of interaction, one counterspell, and then putting out a lot of birds. Plus all these cantrips just making the Godfrey's Faithful like a life gain cannon. Love that. So we have a hand that we can't keep. If this were an island, maybe? Mulligan? Okay. So let's see. I think we probably want these cards, this card, this card. We keep, keep and put back a preordain. Because we're probably going to go ponder into cycle. Island, ponder. Looking for white mana. Find the floodplain. Okay. All right, so no shuffle. We can play the floodplain and then just preordain. Play springleaf drum. Play the land, preordain. Looking for not these things. Faithful is decent. Probably want to go familiar into Cyclorian Revealed. Plays a Moon Circuit Hacker. Okay. Let's put the Fam into play. By the Chancery picking up the land. So if they have a just like the removal spell, the Fam or Faithful would be dead here, and I'd rather have the Faithful in play, I think. Next turn, I can play the Murmuring Mystic. So, I mean, they don't hold up uh, Metallic Rebuke. It's in for two. One, two, three. The so Rebuke is online. They're going to ninja their ninja. Okay. <clears throat> so, that makes me want to cast the Murmuring Mystic here. Okay, they still have three mana. Cast Thought Cast. Um, this would really stink if they have a Pyro, but I don't think I can play around that. They have the pyro. 
Okay. Darn. Gets in for two. They can ninja the ninja again. So it's next turn I have to go faithful, kill your ninja with the nature's chant. A hacker, draw a card. Their card draw machine over there. I have a prohibit. Play the faithful. Let's just pass and then do it on their end step in case they have metallic rebuke available. Um counter. Okay, that resolved. Plays the thought cast. I'm sort of holding open the nature's chant right now. Not really sure about this. Not feeling good right now. Okay, they have the glitters. We're gonna try to nature chant. I really hope that they don't have a metallic rebuke in hand as well. Oh god. Well, at least their creature will be tapped this turn, so that's good. No, it won't be. Because they can just tap the spring leaf drum. Unbelievable. Well, we can't pay. Definitely frustrating. They're gonna get in for 10. Take 10. Can I find a snap off the top? Snap a do? Snap or a cantrip would be okay. Not find a snap. I'll play the Moldrifter as a chumper. Play the Chancery. Pick up the island. Interesting. We have a Ginger Brute. Okay. Uh, I mean, what are you going to do? They just had Galvanic, Galvanic, Pyroblast, Metallic Rebuke, Glitters, Glitters, Double Ninja. Okay. Um. So do I want to bring in Pyroblasts? Maybe the Murmuring Mystic can come down for another loose focus. That was some nonsense, that's for sure. Okay. Um, this is a keep. You can blow up their turn one land. And then start cantripping. I'm going to play the Broker's Hideout and grab a Plains. If they don't play, don't play a turn one regular land, I can, can't blow it up. Can blow up that one though. Bam. Can Metallic rebuke me right now? The spell? Come on! What? <laughs> What's happening? My man. Guy. Unbelievable. How how many threats do they have in their deck now? Like what? Uh I'm gonna preordain looking for a faithful. Didn't find it. I'm just gonna grab an island. I know that runes are preordained, but it's fine. I hope it's fine. Play this. That's turn three. And then hopefully they don't have a metallic rebuke for my murmuring mystic and we just run away with the game. Let's see what happens. That was pretty wild. They have a spring leaf drum, so they could have red mana. Now they don't have red mana. They're getting in. They could have a ninja, but then they can't replay their ninja or their frogmite. They have no mana available right now. So I'm free to get the Murmuring Mystic into play, but they could just have a Pyro next turn. Best draw is... Snap. They have the Frogmite anyway, so that means they have the Metallic Rebuke. Oh my goodness. Three cards in hand. Okay. Please no removal spells. Play Murmuring Mystic. Give the Pyro Blast. Don't have the Pyro Blast. I'm just like, please, please, give me a turn. Just one turn. That's all I'm asking. Find a nature's chant. Let's start with ponder. Make a bird. Things are happening. I find a snap and an arcane answer. Okay. All these are good. I think I'm gonna go with preordain here. I'm gonna get rid of the ash barons and draw the arcane answer. Play the, the Azorius chancery, picking up the island. Start passing my the turn. We've gotten a pretty good amount of value from the Murmuring Mystic so far. Plays a land. We did win game one at least, so now we're 1-1, one, one, right? Yeah. Okay, Raven Inspector for the opponent. Plays a Ginger Brute. Two cards in hand. No attacks. Okay. Go land. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to lead on a preordain. And then I'm going to... Okay, I like these. Let's top. Top. I can use the Ephemerate to keep the Murmuring Mystic alive. Attempt to Nature's Chant the Gingerbrute. 
just keep their them from having an unblockable creature because we have so many block like jumpers. Okay, they're gonna let that happen. So we can get in. The nice thing about Murmuring Mystic is you just it's like an when it's just an enchantment, it's hanging out on the battlefield and it's just getting a ton of value here. It's great. We're just like accruing birds on birds. Okay, we finally go to blocks. We'll just pass. We should see, need to be very aware of what's happening. We're going to crack the clue most likely. Cracks the clue. Okay. They had so much interaction last game that I'm just trying to play around it. It's a relic. Okay. Not good, but not the worst. Cracks the relic. So we only have two dust to dust now. No more nature chance. Plays a thought cast. They have three men available. Plays another thought cast. Two mana available. Plays a frog mite. Four cards in hand. Mirror enforcer. Sure. Okay, three cards in hand for the opponent. I'm going to lead on snap the enforcer. Play our cam answer, try to get back snap. Okay. That resolves. Our cam answer. No pyroblast. They land. Swing. All right, your turn. Plays a land. They have mirror enforcer and three unknowns. Plays the mirror enforcer. We're gonna get in with the froggy. Multiple frogs. All right, so we'll go walk. Now double block this Thraven Inspector and then block the other Thraven Inspector to minimize the amount of value they're going to get from flipping a ninja. Okay. No ninja here. All right. Play the Chancery. Pick up the planes. Go ahead and snap the Mirror Enforcer again. And tap. Play an Arcane Answer. Grab any snap. If nothing, let's get in for four. Hmm. I mean, I could try to resolve the Mole Drifter. Doesn't beat a Pyroblast, but they probably don't have Pyroblast or didn't last turn. They play a land. They might have drawn land for turn. They could have flooded out. But maybe I should just try to play the Mirror, the Mole Drifter. Getting in. Okay. I will block and block. Kill your Frogmite. I'll take two. I have to be aware of my life total. Maybe they just have a bunch of Hydroblast or Galvanics in hand. That could be the case. So let's think about that. Try not to die to triple Galvanic. Okay. Let's ponder. I gotta look for a faithful based on my read now. No faithful. You have a mortuary miner. I think I'm gonna shuffle. Double snap. Let's snap the mirror enforcer. They cast a metallic rebuke. Okay, I'll say that I'm gonna pay. Untap. They land. Cloak this drifter. So we know they had the metallic rebuke in hand now, so I only have to be afraid of double galvanic at the moment. Try to ephemerate the mole drifter. No galvanic. Okay. I'm gonna play God Pharaoh's Faithful. And I think I'm gonna pass. Well, let's attack with our birds. I forget to attack. Got plenty of blockers now. <coughs> so what is up with our opponent? Do they just have nothing? Are they just hanging out and trying to lose? I don't think they're trying to lose. They scoop it up. We win two and one. One oh, we'll see you in the next round. We're here in round two versus Joker 10289, who is probably also on Azorius Affinity. We can go land ponder cycle. I think this is probably fine on the play. And we don't have to cycle if we can find a Chancery off the Ponder. Then we can later use the Brainstorm for good effect. Burning Mystic can be good versus faster decks as well. Find a Faithful and a Preordain. I'll put the Faithful on top. And then I'm going to set an Upkeep stop. But I definitely want to cycle for a land regardless. See what they're up to. That way we are not necessarily drawing non-lands for the next two turns because it'd be so definitely still fine for with me to draw land here. Maestro's Theater indicates probably Demir Fey. That's a Grixis land. It's a swamp. Let's cycle. So Cleric might not be that good, but we can 
Brainstorm it away, maybe. Blood plane go. They're holding open a... <clears throat> I can get rid of my upkeep stop. Looks like they're holding open um, a spell setter for the mortuary mire. Sealed until the next end step. Now let's... Yeah. Because we could just brainstorm on end step and then get a land or find something that we can preordain through. Spell setter sprites. Let's brainstorm. Okay, I'll put back Cleric. Herming Mystic's really good. What's the worst card? Preordain? Or is it the planes? I'm going to say it's the preordain here. Cycle for an island. Definitely harder to beat uh, fairies when you're not playing uh, the modern age. But we are playing Deep Analysis, which is basically one of my chump trump cards versus them. They Bajuka Bog me. Okay. Let's see if they ninja. If they do ninja, I'm going to play Familiar and Faithful this turn. Okay. Um, I guess they had to go. So I'll take it. Nice. <laughs> Duo. <laughs> okay, round three we're versus New Barola, who has been playing a ton of blue white affinity. And I think I like this hand because we've got turn two Faithful Preordain. Plus, we have the backup Dawnbringer Cleric, and we can. Work towards the Murmuring Mystic. Very good anti-aggro hand. There's the Ancient Den and the Thraben Inspector. No, Springly Drum. So we're going to go ahead and cycle for our planes. Grab the planes. Found a second planes, which is not very good. We're going to Faithful into Preordain. I don't think I can keep either of these because I need to have card draw. Ephemerate's not useful at the moment. Snap is kind of medium. I need another blue source in order to get the Arcane Mancer down. I want to play the three minute Specter. They have Metallic Rebuke online right now. Plays another three minute Specter. Still has Metallic Rebuke. Plays a Frogmite. Ginger Brute. No Metallic Rebuke available right now. So we're just going to slam the Faithful and pass. All right, Faithful. Land, pass the turn. They're on two cards. Okay, they play Ginger Brute, one card in hand. They have two clue tokens. They find a Mirror Enforcer. Okay. Uh, they still have the Springleaf Drum for mana. We can block three of this five damage, or uh, six damage total. They're leaving a creature back. So apparently they have Metallic Rebuke. Final land. I think I just need to play the land and try to draw cards here. Maybe they'll counter this. They're going to counter it. So we still will be able to cast our card draw next turn and draw two cards. Or we can put the Murmuring Mystic onto the table first, which might be a better play. Uh, draws a card, two cards in hand. Of one mind, draws more cards. Your Enforcer. Bleh. It's in for a million. Okay. Why are they leaving creatures back? They left the wrong creatures back if they want to use the uh, Metallic Rebuke this turn. So I think I put the Murmuring Mystic on the table. All right, your turn. We're at 18. Another Mirror Enforcer. Finds all the Glitters. So we're going to hit for a million. Block, block. 11, 12. 14, 15, 16. You have to block here. Oh, I can't block that one. I'll block. Of course, I can't block that one. That's the whole point of their attack. All right. Take 15 for some large amount. 12. We're going to work with a deep analysis first. But a four life. Really? Land? I don't know if they're just effing with me. Let's see. Unreal. Okay. Good draw. I didn't go very well for me. I didn't get the lands I needed. So we want these cards again. Trimming as expected. Maybe Murmuring Mystic can also be cut. We're just trying to get to the late game, right? So I'll bring in one Loose Focus. Maybe Loose Focus is better than Prohibit versus their nonsense Metallic Rebukes. 
We'll see what happens. I have a lot of win cons. Mm, this is probably too slow. Okay, we have stuff to do. Let's keep it. I'll put back the Mystic. I can turn to the Familiar. And then I can uh, evoke the Moldrifter and put it back on top with the Mortuary Mire. If I find a Plains, I can Dust Dust. They play a Springleaf Drum on turn one. The Ornithopter into Thraven Inspector. La -di da. Play my Sunscape Familiar. Don't feel super powerful, but <laughs> I did a thing. Thought cast from the opponent. <clears throat> Plays a land. Springleaf Drum. If six mana in play, or six artifacts, seven artifacts now. There's a Mirror Enforcer. Ginger Brute. Okay. Looking for a Plains, and then I can lock, I can kill these two. I'm not a Plains. I, I don't know, maybe a Snap. Nature's Chant this. Uh, maybe that's not worth it. Let's evoke the Moldrifter. Go for the Preordain. Find a Cleric and a Faithful. I think these are probably not going to save me here. Cracks a clue. They're heading for a large amount. Another Mirror Enforcer. Cracks another clue. Podcast. Okay. Six damage. Alright, so I can snap this, dust dust these, Mortuary Mire back, the Moldrifter. Tap, untap. Kill your Mirror Enforcers. Mortuary Mire, get back the Mold Drifter. Okay. Better than nothing. Fun plays the Dark Seal Citadel. Like they have the all the glitters. Okay, they glitter up their uh, Ornithopter here. It's gonna be eight damage. Nine damage. Another glitters. Stupid. Okay. Uh, I'm sure this is totally fair for the format, but uh, we have lost. And we'll see you in round four. All right, we're here in round four versus John Tom Jova. They like to play mid range. We're going to keep. Got a lot of card advantage, and we're on the play. I think it's possible that I should ponder turn two, not turn one, because I don't know what they're doing. They mulligan to six. All right, we're going to lead on island. Pass the turn. Play a mountain. Okay. So burn. So Chancery is good against this Blast Runner. Let's ponder looking for a Faithful. No Faithful. We can go Snap. Mancer back to Snap. We'll take the Ephemerate. Play the Chancery. Pick this up. Plays an Experimental Synthesizer. Finding a Koldotha Rebirth. So if they have a land there, they have a good thing going on. They can Koldotha the Synthesizer. The Koldotha finding a Great Furnace. They're going to hit me for three. Okay. We're going to just do my snap of shenanigans. Snap this. Untap. And replay the snap, the Mancer. Not replay, but get back the snap with the Mancer. So this gives me a blocker that they have to deal with. And then I can maybe like snap the Goblin Tokens. Gal Blast that. Plays a Blast Runner. Tax for three. So I could just snap it and then. Hmm. If I cycle this right now, it doesn't really do anything. I could snap this and draw three. Then hopefully find. Okay, I'm going to snap that. Get off the table. We are taking three a turn. Draw three. All right, so we can go Murmuring Mystic, Preordain. Then we have two blockers. They play the Blast Runner and a Tomb Raider. Gets in for three. Okay. Murmuring Mystic, Preordain. Finding Moldrifter. I guess we have Drifter Ephemerate. We don't want the... We have find a land. We can Drifter Ephemerate plus Counterspell. I guess that's worthwhile. Plays a land. We could be dead here. They cannot Galvanic because they don't have enough um, Metalcraft, so you can just like block the Goblin Tokens. Yeah, let's get rid of the Goblin Tokens here. Block, block. We're still taking three, going to eight. 
planning on drawing the island. Going Drifter Ephemerate with Counterspell up. So we'll have three blockers. If they have eight damage and burn, we're dead here. We have to Drifter Ephemerate into a snap. They play a Tomb Raider. Three cards in hand for the opponent. Chain Lightning Face. We're going to Evoke. So at this point, we're looking to Counterspell. I guess it's going to be like... All right, find a snap. <clears throat> so I'm going to Ephemerate, see what they do. They're going for the Bolt. We can now snap the Tomb Raider, untap, and counterspell the Galvanic. So we went pretty wide here, and if we draw into a Faithful, we can play it. Draw two cards. We found an Ephemerate, so I'm just going to Ephemerate the Moldrifter again. We've gone very wide. But we still died a double bolt. Implement. Packs with everything. We're going to block with the birds. I don't think I want to block with the mystic. We're going to get two more birds here from the double ephemerate anyway. We know they have the blast runner and then one unknown in hand. Plays a blast runner. Five damage. Do they have exactly goblin grenade? Plays the blast runner. Five damage. Okay, we have a bunch of cards we can draw. So hopefully this is going to chain me some cantrips. Draw some cards. Okay, draw two. No cards. Let's ephemerate. Okay, draw two cards. Huh. Okay, found a flicker. So we can go faithful. Play the familiar. Let's flicker on the Muldrifter. In the island, I guess, or the planes. That untaps my planes and lets me play another um, familiar. If I draw a one mana spell, I can use it. We're going to go to six. They scoop it up. Let's see what we would have drawn. Brainstorm would have been huge. Brainstorm into Faithful. Okay. That was tight, though. We have a bunch of blasts to bring in. Okay, so I like to trim on the counter spells first. Don't really need that many murmuring mystics. And deep analysis, we can trim. The cam answer, we could maybe trim. Ephemerate, we could also trim. So, what do I want back in? I like the murmuring mystic as a way to stall. So, last breath or prohibit? <clears throat> I think it's going to be prohibit. Could also be last breath, but I mean, what is the last breath going to take out? It's going to take out the Tomb Raider, but I think that just having more answers to their spells as well as the Bushwhacker is probably better. I think the Arcane Answer is too clunky. Ephemerate, we can take out. We have a zero lander, Sith and Mulligan. Okay, this is a good hand. Keep. Put back one of the snaps. So we have turn two, Faithful Preordain. We find a land we can uh sunscape familiar snap what we really want is some hydroblasts land grabbing of planes our opponent leads on the best possible which is the land or uh, great furnace tomb raider attack you they don't play a land we could just go snap your tomb raider play faithful preordain because that would uh make them have to recast it and then we can just hard just block with the Faithful. They have a mountain. Plays a bushwhacker. Interesting. They must have more bushwhackers in hand then. It's in. Let's just put that back to hand so they have to recast it. Faithful. Preordain. Pop these. Cast a synthesizer. They find a great furnace. Pretty good for them. Now they have Galvanic Blast online. So if they have Galvanic Blast in hand, the God Pharaoh's Faithful is going to get bolted. Blasted right now. They play Tomb Raider. So they must not have Galvanic in hand. We're going to get hit for three. Okay. Go to 11. I'm not blocking because I don't want to get bolted. Play an Implement of Combustion. We play Sunscape Familiar here. Now I'm going to blo gonna block because I have the Snap Protection. That was my turn three. I'm trying to look to brainstorm into a Hydro Blast as well. Arcane Mancer could also get back a card. 
to go and we're going to respond to the chain lightning with a snap. See what they do. They're just going to bolt it. Fire blast the snap. Okay. Okay, I'll block now. And they had another light. Okay, they're just going to point the implement that means put me to 10. Okay. What do we get? We need some things to do. Uh, let's brainstorm first. And put the arcane answer back on top. Play the land. Beardane. F6. And I'm going to put the arcane answer on the bottom. Drawing the Mystic. If I draw an untapped land, I can Mystic into Preordain. That's my goal here. They didn't have the Bolt last turn, but they drew a lot of cards. Looks like they're going to Kolotha the Synthesizer. They're finding a Mountain. And will, they, will we see a Bushwhacker here? Or they're an Epicure. We're at 11. There's the Bushwhacker. 2, 4, 6. I think that's lethal, but I'm not sure. Block. We're dead. Bring in the last breath. I can afford to cut the brainstorm actually. Need the card draw eventually. Really, the problem was that we just didn't have anything to do. Okay. Let's mulligan this one. Right? This seems okay. We have. I'm going to keep put back the arcane answer again. Play to land. Pass the turn. If they have a crazy one drop play, we can just hydroblast it. If not, we cycle for a planes, go faithful, then leave up hydroblast. All right, let's cycle. And get the value out of the hydroblast. Land, faithful, and then uh, murder this, and say go. Snap, uh, I guess, does look pretty bad in this position. I like it later on for once you have a rich, once you have a uh, chancery in play to get like a ritual. Plays a second land. Well, they're an Epicure. And Kaldotha Rebirth, it looks like. Yep. Okay, we can Chancery and pick up the planes. Snap a token. And tap. Launder. Doing the thing I wanted to do. We have a last breath. All right, I think I pass. <clears throat> so the Chancery is on the bottom of my little pile there. So that they're going to get in. All right, let's just murder this thing and pass the turn. That way we're only taking two. We can eventually snap away the tokens. Two's not that much damage. Play a land. Tomb Raider. Would have rather killed that thing. Beardane. Okay, bottom of the Chancery. Pop the Deep Analysis. Play the land. Pass the turn. We're going to try to rely on our card draw and uh, use that to outlife gain them. They're currently going to attack us for three. I'm just not letting them bolt my creature at the moment. They have to use two cards to bolt it. Okay. We're going to deep analysis. We can make the land drop after if we draw Hydroblast. Did not draw Hydroblast. Play a land, pass the turn. They have five cards in hand. They're going to get in for three again. I'll say okay. We're at 16. Plays a Blast Runner. Alright, I'll play a Faithful. Play the Familiar. I'll take one damage to draw two cards. We're at 15. Okay, now I have the Flicker. So I can freely block, kind of, and then I have a Reaction spell. So I'll have the two for one themselves again. If they want to get through me. Okay. We're going to block. Block, block. Go to 14. I wonder if I should save the flicker to keep the murmuring mystic alive. They play a land. Dang, they just don't have anything. Alright, let's try a murmuring mystic. They might have a pyroblast, in which case I would mortuary admire. Nothing. Okay, play land. Maybe brainstorm is like a really good pre-board card to fix your hand later, and then it's not a good card post-board, so you can just cut it. I guess it depends on the matchup. Kind of hoping for a pyroblast, or not a pyroblast, a deep analysis or a mold drifter here. Rooker's hideout. Okay, we'll gain a life. They're chilling on a lot of cards in hand. Five cards in hand. Okay, we have a lot of land still in the deck. One, two. 
There are nine lands left on the deck. Are you going to attack? Still no attacks. Find a snap. Let's hang on to that. They're at seven cards in hand. They're still holding on to everything. They're going to have to discard the hand size soon. Plays a land. They're passing. Find a ponder. Okay. We gain some life. Make a bird. What does ponder show us? Let's see. Drifter ephemerate. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to evoke this mole drifter. Okay. Now I draw two cards. We're going to snap the mole drifter. See if they respond. Looks like no. That's a surprise. Okay, let's just hard cast the drifter then. Now we still have ephemerate and flicker available for two mana and one mana. Okay, I'll play my chancery. Picking up an island. Oh, wait, next turn I have a land drop for zero. I mean, I have a land drop that is not tapped. Okay, we're at 25. They have seven cards in hand. We have quite a few blockers. We're hanging out. The Lauren reveal lined up. Multiple ways to flicker our creatures if they use removal. I'll cast my Lauren revealed. Make some more birds. I guess I'm going to start attacking here. Okay. Some good cards. You can attack for four in the air. Um, let's try a drifter and snap, because then I can hard cast a drifter for for uh, free for off these two. So a snap will be a ritual and a draw two. We're drawing some cards. We're gonna snap that drifter. I mean, if they have nothing here, they're super buried. We have multiple answers. Okay, drifter resolves. Snap resolves. Okay, right now we can afford to discard these two lands. Play a mole drifter. Okay, I I mean, maybe they're just kind of like hanging out. Discard, discard. I guess I'm gonna preordain here then. We have ten cards in hand. I can probably afford to discard the other preordain. Just hold the prohibit for some sort of bad spell that we don't like. Okay, or we just top and top the Ash Barons and discard the Ash Barons. All right, discard land, land, land. Your turn. We have 23 cards left in the deck, so I don't have to play the Mortuary Mire just yet. They play a Mountain. I don't understand. They're saving up for something big. That's what's going on. Uh, let's lead on a Preordain. Figures on the stack, and we're going to Preordain finding a... Planes and a fan, but we'll bottom the planes, top the fan. Go ahead and attack. All right. Then play a familiar. I guess I'm just going to play the mortuary mire here. That gets it onto the table. I don't feel like I need to use it, and I want more untapped lands. So I'm just getting this tap land out of the way. Right now they're at 11. Four. We have 10 damage in the air right now. So I guess if I... Flicker the drifters on their end step. I'll make a creature and then that'll be enough to kill them. Then they'll have to do something. Okay, flicker the two drifters. That's 11 power in the air now. We win. Uh, it's pretty unfortunate from their side, but now we're at three and one, so let's go to round five. We're here in round five? Round five. We kept. I'm going to play land and pass the turn. I think our opponent's probably on some sort of mid-range deck. I'm hoping they're on Cogates. Let's contaminate Aquifer. That is not a mid-range deck. Now I'm much more nervous. Uh, and I... Okay. Play a land. I'll pass the turn, picking up the island. I can always evoke the Mole Drifter and then put it back on top with the Mortuary Mire. Our opponent's going Brainstorm, so they're probably on Blue-Black Terror. I probably want to try to lose focus their first terror. Play island. I'll pass the turn. See what they do. They brainstormed and then just played a tap land, so maybe they're brainstorm locked. Their mental noting, I'm just going to counter it because. Oops. I thought I had a famine play, my bad. I have to pay two for this. Counter. Definitely want to set them back if they're on blue black. They're going to spell pierce. Okay, we're not going to pay. They mill spell pierce, deep analysis, or they mill deep analysis and mental note. 
Okay, let's see. They use their one spell pierce. Let's just evoke the Moldrifter and put it back on top. Archery Mire back the Moldrifter. They brainstorm again. Double Ephemerate's not super, not that good. I'm looking to just hard cast the Moldrifter. Depends on if they have creatures in play, of course. Plays a land. Larian Tear number one. They're deep analysising. Okay. So seven cards in hand. Let's play a Moldrifter. That resolves. We draw more lands, so obviously we're gonna discard a land here. It'll be interesting to see if they've got snuff outs and stuff. They mill Island Lorien revealed with a Thought Scour. <coughs> They're gonna kill the Moldrifter with the Agony Warp. Okay. Gets in. We're at 15. Plays a land. So they're representing Counterspell. We can Brainstorm and then Ponder. And Ponder can shuffle the Brainstorm. Look like these two. Um, I'll play Ponder. We have Double Arcane Answer. Well, we are getting pretty beaten down by this Galarian Terror. The Chancery can pick up the Mortuary Mire. I do like the Faithful. I guess I'm keeping all of these. I'll just play the familiar. And then play the chancery picking up the mortuary mire. Faithful is good because it can drastically uh, change their clock. One life is going to change it from three turns from now to four turns from now. They mill Lorien Reveal and a counter spell to their Thought Scour. Picks up a, finds a Telerian Terror. Okay. They get in. Now we're at 10. So we're drawing the island. Opponent. Play my faithful. Play my arcane answer. Uh, there's the counter spell. Okay. Let's mortuary mire getting back the mold drifter. Then we'll pass. Then we have to do something pretty awesome on this next turn. They're gonna use an unexpected fangs. Okay. That's eleven damage. Going to. Lock with the Faithful. Then we're going to go Ephemerate. They have four cards in hand. Seems like they don't have a Spell Pierce. They would have rattled that off. I guess their question is whether or not they have... If they do have a Spell Pierce, try to snap the Faithful. Okay, we'll untap. We'll take five damage. Go to seven. I guess a Deep Analysis. Okay. We can go Faithful, Arcane Answer for Ephemerate, Ephemerate for Snap, Snap the Terror, Ephemerate for Snap, Snap the Terror, play a Moldrifter. That just takes them off the table for a turn, though. <clears throat> Best case scenario, they play uh, Gurmag Angler right now. Worst case scenario, they have a Snuff Out. A Mental Note, killing Gurmag and Island. They're fully tapped out. Oh, I f 6 Dang it. Play Faithful. They were playing so slowly, it just like, uh, it was too much for me. Oak the Mole Drifter. I already used one snuff out. Do they have more snuff outs in hand? Ephemerate the Mole Drifter. Of course. Classic. Okay. Ponder. The Nine Life. Uh, we're going to shuffle this. Another Mole Drifter. That's the turn. I mean, it's clear that we've lost here. Opponent's playing, like, lower than mud. And I'd lost because I had tapped out. Otherwise, we would have maybe gotten that second creature. So we want the Negate over the Counterspell. Armoring our Cleric seems like it'd be good, but it's not actually that good. Bring in the Circle of Protection. And then I can... Murmuring Mystic's actually pretty solid versus them. Maybe I want to just cut the Ephemerate. Bring in a Prohibit for their counter spells. Try to keep the Murmuring Mystic alive. We want to use the Circle of Protection or a Murmuring Mystic to win the game. Okay, so post-board. <laughs> post-board, our goal is to drop a Circle of Protection. This hand does not do anything. 
Sand does things. Let's keep, put back the Mortuary Mire. Play the Island Ponder. On Ash Barons, some more Cantrips. So what do I want to do? I can draw the Ponder and the Preordain. Say, no shuffle. That's the turn, or go ahead. We're going to Preordain. Um, we can just Ponder with Shuffle. Which is pretty nice with the Ash Barons. I want to make sure I hit land 4 so I can cast the deep analysis. Opponent plays an island. Going for that uh, spell here with my cantrip. Find out. Oh, that's good. Okay, bottom these. Draw the chancery. Play land and cycle for an island. They mill terror and Lauren reveal. That's great. One terror down. Love it. <laughs> Come on, mill all your terrors. Plays a black land contaminated aquifer. They've been on just one of the black, one full set of the black lands. We draw another island, not the greatest. Wall Drifter and Negate are good. We can play the Chancery. Passing the turn and picking up the island. So next turn we can go Sunscape Familiar and protect it with Negate. The they mill two counter spells. Oh my goodness. Maybe we have a shot. <laughs> Okay, what do you got? I guess a terror. They cycle a Loring Reveal. That's not a terror. They would have played that if they had it, right? Oh, there's a terror. Sure. You draw the negate. Play land, play familiar. Can't F6 anymore because they are a snuff out deck. Snuff out plus spell pierce still stuffs us anyway. Player and terror, they're going to get in 4 5. We go to 15. They pass. They cast down. I'll try to negate. Are they relying on a spell pierce here? If so, I'll pay. If they don't use counter spell here, then it makes me want to just slam the Muldrifter. Because I feel like they have spell pierce in their hand that would spell pierce the deep analysis. They thought scour themselves, milling brainstorm counter spell. Now there's only one more counter spell left in the deck. Faithful and snap. That is very good. It's a land. Five mana for a Murmuring Mystic. Snuff out on the Familiar. It's in for five. Unfortunate. We go to ten. The God Pharaoh's Faithful. We're going to snap the Murmuring Mystic. <laughs> the uh, thing is, like, when they're taking all these pauses between the actions, it's actually throwing me off because I, I'm just waiting for them to do something. So I have to like completely stop what I was doing between. They're going to spell pierce. Okay, we'll pay for the spell pierce. So that's what we thought they had in hand. Yes. Untap, untap. Play the land. We're going to draw with deep analysis. There's a circle of protection, and we can probably protect it. So then we won't get hammered by this Talarian Terror anymore. They cast the... They're casting a deep analysis instead, okay? Plays a land. But we are going to have to deal with the birds. Maybe I just go circle of protection and then lose focus there. Murmuring Mystic. Inner's Edict. Okay, I guess it's going to be the Faithful then. We get in for five... Nope, six. Okay, block. If we draw land, do draw land. Solid. Let's grab my island. Okay, over here, do this. Go ahead and play Circle of Protection Blue and pass the turn. So now this terror is not a threat. And we have to double lose focus on their Murmuring Mystic. There's the Murmuring Mystic. We're going to replicate this for one. I can't pay, probably. Same targets. So Murmuring Mystic is countered. And now at this point, it's almost like I should be happy that they're playing slowly because it's threatening their clock, so I, need, I should just chill. Okay, Murmuring Mystic's off the table. Probably going to play an Angler now. Okay, there's an Angler. So we are now looking for a Snap. We've used one of them so far. Plays a Mental Note. So they're just liking to tap out because they want to uh, pass the turn. Plays a land. They wanted to play another card. 
So probably another angler, I guess. No attacks from the opponent. You gonna snuff out? No. I'm gonna I think I have to cast the mole drifter. There's another blocker. I'm really trying to draw a snap though. Do not draw a snap. Let's cycle the Lorian Revealed for an island. Play the island. And I will pass the turn. We're gonna start chumping on the Gurmag with the Mole Drifters. Our opponent only has one card in hand, but they do have deep analysis and Chainer's Edict in the graveyard. Cast the Chainer's Edict. Okay. We lose a Mole Drifter. We're gonna to go to attacks. We will block. Just give me as many turns as possible. A deep analysis. Drawing two cards. Brainstorms. Play the land, two cards in hand. Play a familiar. So they can Chainer's Edict this familiar. Draw. Cast Preordain. Looking for the snap still. Found a snap. Can snap the Gurmag. Play a faithful. Draw some cards. And I will pass. Seems that they were F6 there and didn't have anything to do. They play a Nile spell bomb. All right. I'm not getting beaten down by the Gurmag this turn. They could go for Chainer's Edict. Instead, they cast Lorien Revealed, drawing three cards. I think I'm going to go Sunscape Familiar into Archaeomancer. They're casting the Angler. Okay, they're leaving Chainer's Edicts in the graveyard. Three cards in hand. Still not attacking. All right, my turn. We found the Murmuring Mystic. So if we play it right now, it could get countered. Play the Familiar. Cast my Arcane Answer. <clears throat> Going after the Snap here. They give me back the Snap because they're F6'd. Snap to Gurmy. Tap. Play Murmuring Mystic. Okay, they scoop it up. They definitely didn't need to lose there, but they're correctly identifying that they're low on time. We have lose focus, lose focus, negate, and prohibit. Is counterspell better than prohibit? It might be. Okay, so we're in game three on the draw. Our opponent mulligan to six. This hand doesn't do anything. I'm going to mulligan. This hand's a lot better. We have one snap. Two snaps and two chanceries, but I think I just... So what's the odds we draw more lands? Probably pretty decent, right? Put back the second chancery. We're going to see if we can find a circle. Wow, okay. Ponder. So we just have to protect this thing. I do want the mole drifter. And we ended up finding another chancery anyway. Put the uh, mole drifter on top and then island chancery. Not that that matters that much. Play the Chancery, pick up the island, Preordain, we're going to bottom the island, pop the Familiar, Circle of Protection, we only have one of, obviously, and it's basically my trump card. <laughs> so if it doesn't resolve, we're hosed. Ah, oh, that's funny. Um, Preordain, Army Mystic and a Snap, I don't think I want the next Snap, Mystic could be okay, maybe. Let's pass. They're passing after playing their fourth land. So I could play my next land and then discard a land. Or just go Sunscape Familiar, play a land. Or just play a land and pass. Instead of going for the play a land and pass line. They did not play a land. Pass the turn. Okay. You can play another land. Pass. The longer this goes, this game goes on, I feel that we are the most favored, but I'm not sure. I feel like they're scared to tap out. I'm going to play my familiar. Chancery. I'll float in a blue. Pick up the island. I think I'll maybe try to snap it if they go for a Chainer's Edict. Agony Warp. All right, let's make them use their cards, I guess. Snap. Bell Pierce. Sure. A mental note. One, two, three, four, five, six. Brainstorm. Plays a Gurm Daddy. Okay. So I'm going to go with Murmuring Mystic. 
Permanent Mystic, and then go for the Snap. They could have a Spell Pierce. Let's try the Mystic. That resolves. Okay. So we can respond to a Chainer's Edict by Snapping. They go for Cast Down, so we can Snap the Angler. They could have a Snuff Out, but that Angler is going to get dead. Then if they don't have a Snuff Out right now, we just Flicker and then save the Mystic. Snuff Out. Okay. Tap some lands. Your turn. It'll be interesting to see if they tap out for the Angler here. They do. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana. Play Sunscape Familiar. I'm going to go evoke the Moldrifter. Draw two cards. I'm going to flicker the Moldrifter on an island. Draw some cards. Already played an island. Let's go Arcane Mancer. Get back Flicker. And attack you for one. We have Counterspell in hand. So now we have Snap Lock, so we can just Archaeum answer for Snap, Snap the Angler, they're, de they're dead. Uh, five damage doesn't matter. We win the game. Let's go. Okay, we're in the 4-1 bracket. Round 6 versus Apis 72. Fortunately, we're on the draw. <laughs> he said he's half asleep. I'll take that, but uh, being on the draw versus Elves with Familiars is not very good. We do have Archaeum answer. We can ponder looking for a snap, or we're looking to try to go turn three familiar snap and replay the arcane answer. Our opponent leads on a Quirion Ranger, so not a mana dork. So this is interesting because we can turn to the familiar. I think that's probably best. Play the Flood Plane. They play a Winding Way, not a creature again. Choose this creature type, reveals four creatures. Drift, Shield Wall, Generous End, Drift. So they can't cast any of those right now. Interesting. Uh, we pass. We have the Loose Focus up. Cycles a Generous End. So grabbing a Forest. Plays a Winding Way again. That's okay. We've got some One Drops now. It's in. Okay. Next turn he can make four mana with uh, tapping and replaying the Forest. Got 10 cards in hand. I'm gonna play a familiar and pass. Upcoming, he's gonna have enough mana probably to cast the Tuck Tuck. So you can play as caretaker, another caretaker. You know, one, two, three, four. Discarded a generous and discarded shield wall, discarded drift. Okay, so I only know two of the cards in his hand. <clears throat> Sketchy. Let's ponder. Don't want any of these, I think. Find a Mole Drifter. So I think I have to Chancery here. Pick up the island and pass. Looking to hard counter the Tuk Tuk. Could maybe make enough mana to go off with a, a Reaping here. We're going to definitely counter this. Don't think he can Drift this turn. Plays our Leaf Caller. So he can now Drift. So I'm going to go Archaeum Mancer for Loose Focus, actually. Plays a lead the Stampede. Okay. Finds an Axe Bane, the Scholar guy. Right now he has all the colors he needs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Three. I'm going to try playing the Archaeum Mancer for the Loose Focus. And then next turn I'm going to try to dig for a Snap. <laughs> Need snap ephemerate snap. That leaf color is a huge problem for me. It's tinder wall. All right, Axbane. We're going to attempt to lose focus this. I think he can pay. Same targets here. So he's got the mana to pay for it. Tinder wall is gone. Axbane's on the battlefield. Tapping and untapping. Plays a caretaker. We have not a lot of draws here. Reordain. We find the snap ephemerate. Oh my god. Up. Up. Play the chancery. Pick up this. Snap the axe bane. Cast the mole drifter. Okay. Let's see what happens here. 
So he's kind of in the same position as before. You can cast the Axe Bane Guardian. Okay. Finding way. All right. Find Secret Door Forest. So Forest goes to the graveyard. Another Drift of Phantasms. Plays the Secret Door. Okay. I'm going to Ephemerate for the Snap. Take my draw. And then I'm going to rebound the Ephemerate. Ooh, okay. Rebound the Ephemerate. Okay, he scoops to the Ephemerate. That was lucky for me. Lucky for me. So I want the Essence Scatter, the Prohibit, the Negate, the Counterspell, and the Last Breath. Cutting all of these cards. And the Murmuring Mystic basically doesn't do anything. So the Hydro Blast can come in. And the Blue Blast will submit. Murmuring Mystic is not required to win the game. Okay. Um, so we have the Snap, our Caymancer Snap. But we're just kind of setting up our mana going to that. Our opponent mulligans to five. No turn one play. We'll play land, cycle for an island. My goal is to snap Mancer back to snap on turn three. Play Chancery. Pick up the planes. Your turn. We're going to discard the planes, I think. Because we can abuse the Chancery on the snap turn. Plays a lead the stampede. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, they have five cards. Mirror Shell Crab we have to think about. Um, we evoke the Muldrifter. We're going to discard a card, but we could discard the extra Chancery. Okay, discard Chancery. One that's going to go Battlement. Four mana. Plays Quirion. Cerui. Battlement. So next turn, they can Mirror Shell me. Let's preordain. Don't want these cards. I already have the line in hand anyway. Chancery back the island. Go ahead and snap the overgrown battlement. Mancer, get back the snap. So unfortunately, we're leaving them with colored mana here. With the Cerulean Caretaker. So they can actually use the Mirror Shell Crowd this turn. They do have a standard bearer as well. Will they play the standard bearer instead? Three mana for an Axe Bane Guardian. They untap. You're going to play the Standard Bearer. Okay. We're looking for... Alright. We have an Essence Scatter. I'm going to snap the Standard Bearer. And tap. Play an Arcane Answer. Hmm. Maybe I should preordain first. So Arcane Answer, I need four, five, six. If I can find a Familiar, I'd be in a really awesome spot. Posty Flicker is really good here. Um, top and top. Arcane Answer. Get exactly enough. <laughs> okay. Get back the Snap. Snap the Axe Bane. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do... I forget what's on top here. A, a cantrip, I think. If I Essence Scatter the Axe Bane Guardian... Then they're going to counter it with the Mirror Shell Crab. And then, one, two, three. They will have enough to play the Crab and the Standard Bear. If I flicker right now, I think I'm going to try to go for Essence Scatter and then Cycle the Lorian Revealed for an Island. And then I'm going to flicker and snap and flicker and snap and flicker and snap. I need five mana to flicker and snap so I can double do it two times. Go Essence Scatter. He uses the crab. Okay, no pay. If I can find him, if I rip a familiar, it's GG. Plays standard bear. Grab an island. Come on, fam. Fam or ephemerate. Both of those would do. Or snap, I guess. I can do flicker snap, flicker snap. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is attack. The blocks, alright. Everybody's kind of in the same position as they were before. Flicker. Back to snap. Back to flicker. Snap this one. Flicker again. So we're going to have four mana after this, which is not enough to flicker and snap again. But we can ponder. Snap this one again. Ponder. Going to shuffle. And flicker for snap again. Okay, we got the snaps back. Your turn. 
So I have to redo everything again. Mirror Crab not in their hand anymore. Plays an Axe Bane Guardian. I think the Battlement and the Caretaker are not in their hand anymore either. Doing some stuff. Plays a Winding Way. Finds the Galvanic Alchemist. Drift of Phantasms. Another Mirror Shell Crab. Another Standard Bearer. Okay, snap this. Femorant. We might have enough mana and we scoop. he scoops it up. I think we had enough mana to get rid of this as well and this and this. Take him off of colors and then force through. Do we have any familiars coming up? We have loose focus. Familiar in a couple of turns. So we were pretty close and we had the ephemerate lock and we win the game. Woohoo! One more. This is round seven winning in versus Paulo Cabral. Okay, so this hand is really good if we find a blue land or a white land. We also have counterspell on turn two. I think I'm gonna keep it. All right, we're going to lead on Island Preordain. We know they're on Azorius Affinity now after chatting with some folks. And our opponent took 11 minutes off. They kept their six, but I think they're working on their other match because this, there's another challenge happening at the same time. So let's see how low they do go on clock. Okay, if this is Azorius Affinity, we don't want the deep analysis. We want the Preordain. We'll just let it go. I think my best draw is probably... Chancery, or maybe an Ash Baron, so I can cycle and then Beardane. But I'm probably going to hold up the counter spell for the next turn. See if I can stop them from getting anything good. They play a Sea of the Synod and a Springleaf Drum. Okay. Do they have an Ornithopter? No creature for the opponent. Play a land, pass the turn. Planning on counterspelling whatever creature they cast. And then preordaining, looking for stuff to do. They don't do anything. Let's see what we draw. Deep analysis. Let's preordain. Bottom the familiar, top the island. That's the turn. Now we're in the scary zone where we need another land off the top. I've, I've bottomed a lot of cards, but sometimes that happens. Let's counter your creature. Keep you off mana, as well as affinity. And they can't use metallic rebuke now. As a ginger brute. Okay. That's the thought cast, it looks like. There's the thought cast. I'm looking for untapped land or chancery. Did not find either. Let's just bounce this ginger brute. Take them off mana. Ask the turn. If I'm not going to be making land drops. I need to take them off mana. I can lose focus the ginger brute now. I'm just going to overpay. <laughs> Double lose focus. Same targets here. No ginger boot for you. I mean, we're basically just playing around spell pierce there, but didn't really have any reason to not play around it, so I might as well just jam. Plus, any extra time that it's taking on clock is good for us and not good for them. Plays a Thraven Inspector, so they've got one mana left over. They cannot cast Metallic Rebuke right now. Plays another Thraven Inspector, it looks like. On land. And okay, we find a Chancery. Can pass the turn. So what do we need to do? Obviously we have to play the familiar. They have Raven Inspectors that can can be chomped by the Murmuring Mystic. Problem is if they're holding up Metallic Rebuke, can't really get through by casting the Murmuring Mystic. And now if they play Blitters, it's plus seven. Okay, they're attacking for two. You have a ninja. Have a ninja. I wonder if he's just going to double ninja to get more clues. He is going to double ninja. So that probably means that he replays both creatures. And then I get to go familiar into Mystic. So Hacker's going to draw him a card. Currently has no blue mana. Plays the Thraven Inspector. There's a Mirror Enforcer. Thraven Inspector in hand, three unknowns. So, okay, <clears throat> let's play a Sunscape Familiar. I can pay for the um, Metallic Rebuke right now. So I know he has a three of an Inspector in hand, still three unknowns. I can block the hacker next turn. And I'm going to go for Deep Analysis here to try to draw untapped land and a cantrip. They're just going to counter. 
So I will pay. I wonder if that means he has a second counter in hand. We're paying. We know he has Thraven Inspector, so there's three unknowns. He can draw three cards with the clues. Plays an Of One Mind. Another Mirror Enforcer. It's in for an essentially infinite amount. Block. Gonna flip a ninja again. Five cards in hand. Two of them are Thravens. I mean, the last game that we lost versus Glitters, it was because they just always had it with the many, many Metallic Rebukes. He has not drawn. Let's go Mancer for Snap. This is 10, 11. I, I want to see if he has the Metallic Rebuke in hand right now. Looks like yes. Can't do anything about that. Play the Chancery, pass the turn. Pick this up. So I can go three. I can play the Murmuring Mystic, and then I can cast the Deep Analysis. And I can block three creatures on the next turn. Opponent has uh, started the match with nine minutes on the clock and is going to wreck us. <clears throat> That's enough for lethal, right? Yeah. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Go to one. Okay. So I'm bringing in all the anti artifact stuff. Framing on some more expensive things. I want the negate, I think. Or the loose focuses. Arcane answer. It's really frustrating to uh have to fight against the metallic rebukes. So is loose focus or or negate better? I guess negate and loose focus counter the same thing. I'm gonna cut the deep analysis. I'm looking for a fast mancer or a fast familiar. I kinda got hosed because I kept a hand that had no white, and I looked and looked and looked and couldn't find it for too long. Alright, we're on the play. I guess I'm keeping this. Play the brokers for the planes, cycle for an island, or I could brokers for an island, cycle for a planes. That way if we draw into a um faithful or a chancery we can play them so we have more draws that way than if we get an island i'm gonna grab the island i'm gonna play a novice inspector on turn one off of a planes ornithopter follows it up you cycle for an island play the island pass the turn they have a blue source Okay, of one mind, so they're probably not going to have a counter for the familiar. There's a ginger brute. It's in for two. Okay. I'm going to cycle for the planes. See what we can accomplish. Land. Play the familiar. Now I could also go snap. Replay the familiar. Is that good? I don't think so. Play planes. Representing Metallic Rebuke now. They're going to all that glitters the Ornithopter. Okay. So we have to take the six and then snap it. Could also go. No, that won't work. Okay. Draw. So now Metallic Rebuke is offline. One. Right? Snap. Turn aside. Okay. Okay. Pass the turn. Looks like I'm grabbing a planes. <laughs> if I can go familiar. Oh, no, that didn't work. Darn. Oh, well. Well, I'm going to go Dawnbringer Cleric, blow up the enchantment. That's the turn. I wanted to play the familiar and the cleric there. <laughs> that was not smart. Uh, Ninja Brute. It's in for some damage. And I think I probably have to play the Moldrifter here. They're flipping, hitting for two. I mean, I guess best case scenario is draw into, I don't know, snap, <laughs> a flicker. They play a blue land, play the ornithopter. Let's get the Moldrifter onto the battlefield. Okay, now we have an ephemerate and a lose focus. Gives the ginger brute unblockable. Am I dead? Not quite dead yet. Okay, okay. So, I'm going to flip another ninja. Okay. Plays the ginger brute. We're at seven life. Okay. 
I'll play the island, play the familiar, then I guess I'm passing the turn. I'm getting close to dying. I want to ephemerate the Mold Drifter, I think. Plays a Mirror Enforcer. We can block that with the Mystic. Two cards in hand. Plays a Ginger Brute. Okay. Goes for Unblockable. Goes for Unblockable. They have two mana available. We're going to go to five. Okay. Um, I will Ephemerate the Mold Drifter. Okay, we find Familiar and Dust to Dust. So we can Dust to Dust the two Ginger Brutes. Hmm. Going to Ephemerate. If we Dust to Dust the two Ginger Brutes, then they can't, like, they'd have to have Ginger Brute again plus another All That Glitters to win. They might have a turn aside or something. Let's Ephemerate the Moldrifter. Draw. Okay. I'm going to try Dusting these two. Because then I can block if he has a Glitters. Look, he has a Metallic Rebuke. One minute on clock. Turn aside. I will counter. <clears throat> okay, those guys are gone. Let's see what happens. Cracks the clue. Plays a Thought Cast. Plays a Land. Alright, we're going to block and flicker here. We're going to go for the gain life one. You gain two life. Draw. Play Sunscape Familiar. Play a Murmuring Mystic. Draw two cards. So we get another creature with the Mystic token here. I'll play Blood Plane. And back. We are 37 seconds away. We have plenty of time right now. If they have the Ginger Brute plus Glitters, we're just dead. Block, block. We can block the Ornithopter. Okay. But it's a win in 27 seconds. <laughs> okay. Um. Guess we submit. I don't think I even unpaused for this round, but he had 17 seconds. Played a Moon Circuit Hacker, and we didn't do anything. And we win the match. Yes. We're on to the top eight. All right, top eight, round one. Uh, first new Barola rematch. Can't keep that, Mulligan. This is better. We just get rid of all the snaps, or do we get rid of all the lands? I feel like I can just get rid of one snap here. Go land, chancery, familiar snap. See what happens. We have no cards that draw cards, though, unfortunately. So we have to draw those. So I guess the Chancery can be like our cards that we drew because it's extra land drops. They also mulligan to six. We're keeping six. Let's see if they go to five. We just got to watch out for infinite uh, metallic rebukes again. They really hope they really trounced us in the early rounds. So they played a seated synod and now they're trying to pay costs but are unable to. Okay, Ornithopter, Chancery, and pick up the planes. They play an Ancient Den. They're going to play a Frogmite. So they currently have Metallic Rebuke. Another Frogmite. Let's see if they attack. No attacks. Well, I can Familiar right now. Or Preordain. It's going to Preordain, I think. But not likely to counter that. Imagine they have the counter here. That's where I was faithful, huh? So I like both I like both of these, I think. I think I just have to play the familiar and see if they have it. And they do. To no one's surprise. To no one's surprise. But this turn we have a familiar, snap, faithful, arcane answer, get back snap. Play a thought cast, one card in hand. Plays a spring leaf drung, two cards in hand, mirror enforcer. Gets in for two, or for four, right? And holds up Metallic Rebuke once again. Let's Chancery, picking up the planes. Play God Pharaoh's Faithful. They're going to go for the Metallic Rebuke again. I know they have in hand now. Okay, so that is kind of neat for me. I'm going to take six this turn. Plays a Thraven Inspector. So will they crack the clue right away? 
I'm just gonna assume they have it. I'm just gonna assume they have it. Block. Pick six. Hmm. What do we do? I feel like now we have options. They crack the clue. Holding up. No, they're not. Okay, plays a mirror enforcer. Kind of annoying. Uh, lots of snaps for me. I'm gonna play a Sunscape Familiar. I have three mana, so they cannot Metallic Rebuke. They're gonna Rebuke anyway. Interesting. Let's snap a mirror enforcer. Then we're gonna untap, untap. Pay the three. White, white, and a blue. And snap the other mirror enforcer. Tap some more. Play the Archaeum answer. I'm gonna get the preordain. And then I'm looking for a flicker, I'm looking for mold drifter. Stuff to do. There's the mold drifter. So mold drifter and preordain, let's keep them. Pass. I think I'm looking now for um, Murmuring Mystic. Probably wanted to just go Drifter, flick, Drifter, Snap, Drifter. There's a Mirror Enforcer. Second Mirror Enforcer. Thraven Inspector. They're going to draw a card off of Thraven Inspector. Before their clue even exists, they're drawing a card. Draws a card. Anything else? No decks. <sighs> Lead on Preordain. I've decided now, okay, I'm going to bottom the Preordain, pop the Mold Drifter, snap the Mirror Enforcer, untap some cards, play a Mold Drifter. So an untapped land would allow me to play a second Mold Drifter here. Draw, find a Godfrey's Faithful. I don't think you have the third one. Do you have it? They don't have it. Now we have nothing left over. That's not very good. We drew a lot of cards, but did not really get there. Okay, but they don't have any unblockables right now. They play a mirror enforcer. There's the unblockable creature. I don't know why I would talk. Why do I talk? <laughs> it's in for five. Do I want to block? I guess I'm going to take five. I feel like at, if they just have the glitters, I'm dead right now regardless. I... I'm looking for a flicker or any any sort of blue card draw spell. Our cam answer works. We'll go faithful, faithful, our cam answer. We're gonna grab the snap, snap a mole drifter. I'm not even worried about attacking them right now. I know I could attack them. I'm gonna cast a mole drifter. I could have also just gone. I think I had a leak there because I could have gone snap the Arcane Answer, replay the Arcane Answer, get back snap, snap the Mold Drifter. That would have been more life. Yeah, that was not smart. Darn. Okay, untap. I'll just attack you. Whatever. Maybe next turn I can block the Mirror Enforcer. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's plus 12 if they find the glitters. Block some things is nine damage okay we'll just take it maybe next turn i can multi-block the mirror enforcer it looks like they drew a ninja they're gonna ninja the, the um ginger brute which draws some cards so far i've seen a couple preordains and some mold drifters in 21 cards lots of snaps though oh do they have it oh they have it oh no come on all right, GG. Darn. <laughs> I feel like almost that Murmuring Mystic's not that good. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Maybe post board is not that good. Bring the Nature's Chance, the Dust of Dusts. Right? We don't want the counter spell. Still need to be able to draw cards. Got this Ephemerate. I mean, I have my plan. Mystic does block, though. We're just going to cut the negate. One mystic. That's been my plan generally, so why waste it? We just bricked. We brick, 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 bricked. B -b -b bricked. So here we have land, familiar turn two, turn three, mystic, preordain, mole drifter. As long as they don't have some nonsense uh, 85 counterspell hand again. I was like, oh, I want to put the mystic in the deck. It comes right into my opening hand. That's sweet. All right, land. Grab my planes, and it is your turn. Go land, Ornithopter. 
they have second ornithopter into metallic rebuke i will lose my mind sunscape familiar go <laughs> land journey to nowhere wow okay that stinks did not expect that brainstorms as i have a shuffle effect put this back put back the flicker let's cycle this I mean, island and play the chancery, pick up the planes. Can't believe we got Journey to Nowhere. The spice, the epic spice. Okay, they're just going to start dumping their hand. Thoughtcast. We're looking for them to not have the glitters. Glitters. They always have the glitters. Seven damage. Okay, so my one hope is to go Murmuring Mystic and then them not have a second Glitters or a second Journey to Nowhere or second anything. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I just got to say, that's ridiculous. Come on. Okay, well, we lose and uh, we lost to the Ferris card and uh, that's okay. We went six and two, losing to Glitters. I enjoy this deck. I think it's pretty awesome, but I, we can't. We just can't beat the nuts. And Popper is about having the nuts. Uh, call your local PFP member and tell them to ban all the glitters. That's what I say. See you in the next video. Have a good one.